Hi bosses and welcome back to The Boss in May. My name is Leah and I'm a boss registered medical assistant along with a few other titles. If you are new here, thank you for joining me. I'm glad you clicked on my video, but go ahead and hit that subscribe button because trust me, you're going to want to hear this good knowledge that I continue to give you guys week after week for all my allied health professionals. And if you are returning, hey boss, welcome back. <laughs> Come on in and get some of this good information, all right, to help you boss up your career. So I'm going to be discussing, um, because it's a question I get a lot about, Leah, um, you know, boss, what is the difference between a administrative medical assistant and a clinical medical assistant? So we're going to dive into the top three things that I find are different. So we're going to talk about the difference in the actual job, the skill set. We're going to talk about the difference in the places that you'll see them, where they actually work, and then the difference in the pay, right? All right, so first things up is the job skill set itself. We have two different types of medical assistants, obviously. You have an administrative and then you have a clinical. You'll also hear them referred to as front of the house versus back of the house, right? So if you, um, administrative assistant duties, I'd say they are the people you see when you first come into the building. So they're gonna do the paperwork. They're gonna do the insurance verification. They're gonna collect payment. They're gonna be the person to check you in or check you out. They're typically sitting a lot throughout the day because this process does not require them to do a lot of moving around. Um, and it's a lot more of the, the paperwork pushing um, aspect of being a medical assistant, if that makes sense. So your check in, check out, all that good stuff. On the clinical side, your job and duties, um, are going to be a little bit different you're going to actually be doing the clinical piece of it so that means once the person is checked in the, that administrative medical assistant has checked in that patient verified their insurance and all the goodies you are then going to grab the patient and start doing the clinical piece so that's when you're going to do the vitals the workup you're going to be you know assisting the provider in any procedures you're going to do injections culture swabs urine blood work whatever it is you're going to be doing all the clinically related things once you're done with them, you pass them back to the administrative assistant because once the provider is done, they then have to go through the checkout process. And again, this is where an administrative medical assistant will hold that place as well with receiving payment, scheduling the next appointment, um, doing referral. Well, no, I can't say that. They, they just, they do their part. There are some pieces that overlap, which is what I'm about to get into now. So there are some overlapping pieces where there are clinical people that definitely do administrative things, meaning, you know, the clinical person may still have to do referrals or the clinical person still has to answer the phone. Um, they may have to do some sort of front, what we would consider front end things still kind of spill over into the back, depending on what it is. Um, but I will say with the administrative, a lot of times the back things do not spill over into the front. So it's very seldom that I see someone who's an administrative assistant have to, you know, do back end things unless that is the functionality of your clinic. Some clinics do hire um, medical assistants and they have the expectation that you can do front and back of the office. So that's why it's important to really know the differences and really know what you align more with because there are some places, especially I find this more so with smaller places that they have the expectation that you can run the back and the front. So just kind of know what you like, you know, based on the things you know now about being admin versus clinical medical assistant. Um, the second piece of this, guys, is the fact that jobs, like where you can work, does it make a difference? If you're an administrative assistant or a clinical assistant, to be completely honest, it doesn't really make a difference on if an employer will hire you for either role. So if you pass and you're a clinical um, medical assistant, but you're like, hey, I kind of like the front end stuff. I want to go for a front end position. Most employers are going to give you a shot. You know, they're not they're not going to be like, oh, well, you're only clinical, you can only do clinical. Most of the time, they give people the opportunity to go to the front or to the back if they find interest because at the end of the day, you're still a medical assistant and technically you can do either one. Um, but as I mentioned earlier in the job duties, your job duties will be completely different depending on which, which path you take. Um, as far as where you can work, you guys work together most of the time. Um, so like I said, in a clinic setting, you guys are going to be working in the same building. You work for the same facility, same company. It's just one's in the front, one's in the back. But there are places that you can work if you um, align more with just the uh, front end side. You can do work in um, 
insurance verification places, billing places um, with your certified medical assistant because at that point, you're not really, if you're not really interested in the clinical piece, there's more medical jobs that is that aligns with administrative medical assistant that you can also apply for. So don't be afraid to apply for those billing positions where you're posting bills or those benefits verifications or anything like that because you definitely will be a candidate if you're an administrative assistant and that's something you like. Now, that is not to say that a clinical medical assistant can't try for those same jobs. You definitely can. I'm just saying it's based on what you really like. Um, as far as the pay, the pay does not differ from my knowledge, the pay doesn't differ too much. I will say, I feel like when it comes to the pay of medical assistants, and I talk about this all the time on my channel, you guys know this. When it comes to the pay of a medical assistant, I feel like it very heavily weighs on where that facility places um, value. So if that facility was like, we really, we have a high turnover of clinical medical assistants and we really got to get some money in the door, they may be willing to throw in a bigger number for a clinical medical assistant than versus the front end, where the front end medical assistant they may have had for five years. And they're like, eh, we don't really, you know, it's not very competitive up front. And then vice versa, they may have a very competitive front end and they've had their clinical people forever. So I think it really just depends. But most of the time, they pretty much get paid around the same thing. I don't see, I haven't seen much differences. So guys, if you know of anything that I missed, if you have any information on, on this platform, because we have a lot of bosses on here and I know you guys have a lot of info that you can share with us, go ahead and hit in the comments below and let me know what it's like to work in, um, what do you feel like working is it better to work as a clinical medical assistant? Is it better to work as an administrative medical assistant? Tell us about some of your experiences um, so that we all have better knowledge so we can make better decisions to boss up. So thank you guys and until next time.